Good evening all and thank you for joining me for Pouring for World's AIDS Day. Tonight I'm joining six other artists who like myself are here bringing awareness to AIDS. This year's theme is End Inequalities, End AIDS, highlighting the fact that as much as the virus itself, the social stigma attached to it also affects people. Almost a million people die from HIV and AIDS each year, and it is one of the world's most fatal diseases. It affects people from every walk of life, young and old. There is currently no cure, but science has supplied those affected with this disease with hope and treatment. Please sit back and enjoy tonight's pour. As mentioned before, World AIDS Day 2021 theme is End Inequalities and AIDS. The AIDS ribbon is the color red, so our pour tonight is in the red theme. This item that I'm pouring with is actually a contraption from a new faucet that we replaced at our house. It has turning adjustable bottoms there, sort of like a screw, um, and then those our holes on the left and right, and of course the center. Our sink only required one hole, um, so the faucet goes right in there. Uh, but this did come with our sink faucet set up, and we didn't need it. This is Bordeaux Red as my main color. I love it, it's by Arteza. And this is Sachet Metallic Red by Modern Masters. I also have um, Iridescent uh, Gold Fine by Golden. And then my final color is Artist Loft Flow Black. My intentions for this piece were to have main red ad aspects to it um, and to pour it through the faucet setup contraption to create some kind of design. I'm using a 24 by 24 inch square canvas and um, we are going to pour into the hole on the left and the right and this was more of an experimental piece for me in a sense, um, as I wasn't sure what kind of technique I wanted to do. This evening's lineup starts off with Cause Creations art followed by Dominic Sherry Fluid Art, Mark Radcliffe Art, myself. Following myself is Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. Then next is Jan C. Art. And finishing would be Mina Villegas Art. I wanna thank you all for being here. So I'm just starting to um, stretch out the puddles. They are making a interesting design, like a flower, um, but obviously I need to get that paint moved around on the canvas and I'm slowly stretching it out. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this right now, but I'm using the main color red and that's really all that matters. 
I have my palette knife there and later in this video you will see that I did some great big schmears and it really changed the piece in whole and it brought it together so please be patient a lot of this video is sped up I had to fit it into a 15 minute block um, for this collaboration and uh, we'll go from there all right I'll see you at the end of the video So here are the wet results. I will uh, definitely be showing the dried results in just a bit. Um, 
but I love the lacing that the gold created after taking my large palette knife across the canvas in various areas. There are so many beautiful colors going on here. The sachet red mixed with the Bordeaux red and the movement in the piece just speaks to me and this cause. Um, the lacing and the added black for depth really just brought the piece together. Next up is Brian's Upper Artistry. So please follow him uh, after you see the dried results. All right, guys, here is the dried result. And that lacing is just beautiful with the gold tones in there. And then I added a bit of this in here for a little more brightness. But I think this piece really just shines and I'm really looking forward to, I think I'm gonna actually resin this piece. Um, and then the sale proceeds for this piece will um, be donated and uh, go from there. So please stay tuned, go on over next to Brian's Upper Artistry and see what he has in store for you.